I thought I'd better turn the microphone on. What do you reckon? <laughs> G'day guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Pierre and this is Simple Homebrew. Welcome to my live stream. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to do a live stream. Or I've done a live stream that's hopefully decent for you guys. Uh, having trouble getting the chat to work or seeing what's going on in the chat. I see Finn Roos there. G'day Finn, how are you? Oh, nothing to leave my thing on. Oh, I'm going to look. So I'll be, I'll be looking down a lot because I can't see my chat, but uh, what can you do? And the lighting's gone to crap as well, but that doesn't matter. So what I'm doing today is I'm tasting or test tasting my five Morgan's beer kits that I did. Um, all five of them, uh, I'll just pop up the Morgan's logo so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, they, these guys, <laughs> over this side, these guys, um, I was interested in these guys because they're an Aussie company, they're from Queensland, and I thought, oh, I'll do some Aussie brews and see if I can find out what they taste like. So that's what I did. So I made these five beers. I've already uploaded them, as you know. So I'm now doing the taste testing on them. So the first one I'm going to taste or test is, um, uh, yeah, sorry, someone just said there's no sound, but I'm hoping there is now. So someone let me know in the chat. That'd be great. I'm pretty sure it is. So um, anyway, uh, I've got a friend of mine who's passing me my beers to make sure that, uh, sorry, I'm going to read his text. So Gavin Bucket said, hello, mate. G'day, Gavin. How are you? Hope you can hear me. And Finn Roo said he's good, so I'm glad he knows. Uh, he, must, he, couldn't, he couldn't have heard me. My mic wasn't on when I asked how he was. But anyway, all good. Uh, well, we'll get to the first one. This one's the Morgan's Australian Old. Now, I haven't been keen on this one. I tried it already. Uh, that's it there. Um, it's a brown, sort of a, uh, I would call it a brown ale or something like that. It hasn't got much head retention. It, it, the actual description by Morgan's was um, a robust flavour with hints of coffee and chocolate, balanced perfectly with light hopping and thick, creamy head. Well, I haven't got a thick, creamy head, but it could be the way I bro brewed it. Um, it says it's a dark malt for uh, doing doing. Dark style beers. Oh, it's dark malt. Yeah, okay. So 3.4% alcohol, which is low, which is great because I don't like getting drunk. I just like to um, have a beer. I'll just put a bit, just fix something up here. All right. Obviously, may have not have done much, but anyway, you probably see a little bit better. Uh, just quickly check the chat. Uh, going to make me thirsty watching this. <laughs> All good. Okay, awesome. Some, Gavin, thank you. So, hopefully you can see me a bit better now. The sun was shining over the phone. I'm, I'm using a phone to stream this at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful looking beer. Smells okay. Um, doesn't have um, a hoppy smell at all. It's um, a bit yeasty, a little bit yeasty. That could be because I haven't had, let it age for long. Uh, maybe, maybe four weeks. I'd say, but I'll uh, we'll have a taste of it. Really good carbonation. Um, it's, got a, it's got almost a salty flavour to it. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, you guys are the brewers, I'm just the amateur. So you're definitely going to tell me what, what the go is. I'll describe it all to you. Um, but really, all I can smell, and hopefully you didn't hear that burp then. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Ah, it tastes, tastes okay. It just doesn't have a beautiful sweetness to it, which I thought it might. Um, it doesn't have a, a fairly bitter flavour. It does have a fairly bitter flavour to it, which is great. Um, but it is drinkable. Uh, look, I might let it age a bit longer and see how we go. It's got a, a golden tinge or um, look to it, I suppose. It's, it is an extract brew and it is done with their um, basic or their main or the, what do you call it, the... Um, Yeast that comes with the tin. Uh, I think they're all the same. They're all brewer's yeast, and I don't know what they are. It just says brewer's yeast on the t on the um, packet. That's all it is. So that's a, a beautiful one. Um, so on that one, not a keen fan. Not the best one I like. Uh, it could be the way I brewed it, but um, I could probably turn it into a spirit or something anyway. So it's not wasted. Uh, anyway, so. With all these videos that I'm going to put up with these taste tests, I'm going to add a link to the videos in the description down below. 
to let you guys find out what the brew was that I made because I made videos on every brew I made. Um, so yeah, sorry about this. I'm just checking out the chat. Uh, hello, mate. Finn Roo. All good. Thank you, Finn. This is going to make me thirsty. That's from Ben Long. Hi, Ben. How are you? Uh, yep, I can hear you. Good. Thanks, Gavin. That's right. He said that before. Finn Roo just said yes, Ben. <laughs> um, so basically, you guys are chatting on the chat. That's awesome. Great to hear that you're having a good old yak. Uh, Boss, no, Ross, Ross Coon, how would you have a better head on that, on the old? How would you have a better head on that old? Well, you could put, um, you, uh, uh, oats, you can brew with a bit of oats and get a bit, a bit more thickness going in it. You could probably put, um, what do they, they put in, uh, gel or gel, gelatin in the brews to make a better head. But, um, at the moment it is pretty flat. I mean, the beer is foamy, but it's flat. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know enough about brewing, but you can tell me, I'm sure. Needs to go longer. Good help with better head. Oh, yeah, okay. So I, I need ages longer, and that would make it develop a better head later on. So that's good to know. Uh, Ross Kuhn suggested uh, with the yeast, try one suitable for old or stouts. Pretty logical, really, yeah. I, I would do that. Um, not the one you get with the kit, yeah. What I was doing with the kit was I was actually brewing exactly how the kit says to brew. So the reason why I did that is to show people who, out there who are brewing for the first time, uh, just to show them how to do it with that kit and nothing else. Uh, all I did was add extract to it. Sorry. All I did was add a kilo of dextro dextrose, yes. Dextrose to each brew, except for the Queensland Gold, Australian Gold, Queensland Gold. One of the other doesn't matter. Um, so that the people watching the brew and who are going to brew this for the first time see it done exactly how it it is from the packet. Uh, of course, when you get more in depth and you learn a bit more about brewing, you'll start using the right yeasts and adding hops and making more uh, flavours in your brew as you go to make it suitable to your liking. So yeah, so on to the next one. That was probably the one I didn't like the most, so I thought I'd go that one first. The next one is a Morgan's Australian Gold. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's written on the on the keg, Dave. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's on the right. No. Queensland there. Queensland. Oh, the gold's probably on the floor then, outside on the. <laughs> Dave's pouring me a beer. He's um, come here to help me out. And I was going to put them all along here, but I thought, well, he's here. He can help me out, and he's doing a great job. Australian Gold? Yes. Yeah. Morgan's Australian Gold. So this one I brewed probably four weeks ago. Um, it's been aging for about three to four weeks. You guys have probably seen the video, hopefully. To, um, it's not pouring overhead anymore, is it? Yeah. So... Um, I like this one. This is a sweet one. It's a it's a gold. It's almost like a lager to me. It's um, the Morgan's Australian Gold. Uh, sorry, Morgan's have listed this as a clean, crisp, and fresh. Uh, their, their wording on it is clean, cri crisp, and fresh, with a perfect balance of bitterness for easy drinking. A full flavoured mid strength beer, which I like again, and another low low alcohol one. Uh, mid strength beer for when you're in charge of the barbecue. That's their, um, their caption or the thing on it. Uh, this one, funny enough, they on the packet it said to add the, did it actually say to add the yeast in the, on the container? Well, I read it and I didn't see it written there. Maybe I missed it, I'm not sure. But on the container it said to add 250 grams of dextrose to keep the alcohol level down. And this was. Um, uh, I guess that's why, to keep the alcohol level down, to keep it a, a mid-strength beer. Uh, with the label, it actually said to do that. And then as you read along, it, they said recommended. And the first one was recommended. The second lot of writing said also recommended. Use 200 grams of dextrose and 200 grams of maltodextrin, uh, which I would say would do the same thing, but it would give a fuller flavour. This is, this is what I'm thinking. I would have probably tried the fuller flavoured one uh, with multi dextrin in it, it will give you a sweetest flavour, I would say. Uh, this is ridiculous. 
<laughs> the bloody thing keeps turning off on me. Uh, all right. So I'll just quickly have a look at the uh, things that you guys are chatting with each other. Needs gauge longer, yes. Yep. Suggested we should use a bit of it. Uh, drop out. Finru. Drop out the dextrose and use malt extract. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. Absolutely. Um, that's like the multidextrin, I suppose. It gives you that more deeper, full flavour, I'd say. But that's awesome. Um, <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Good on you, Finn. Keep, keep watching, guys. I know I'm, I'm fumbling around with everything, but um, it's the first time I've really done anything like this. So, cheers. I'm going to try it as well. This one has got a definite yeast smell to it, but that could be, again, it hasn't aged long enough. But flavour-wise, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it is a little dry. I thought it would be sweeter, actually. Yeah, uh, It's been aging two weeks, so it might need a bit longer. Um, Hop-wise, can't taste any hops, but it could be just me. Again, uh, nice bitter flavour. Uh, it has got a touch of sweetness. I'd say multidextrin or, as Finn said, um, uh, malt extract. Putting that in there would make a massive difference to it, I would say. Make it a much fuller flavour again. Uh, the head retention didn't happen because um, the pressure's down in the keg and Dave, Dave was just pouring it out and it's just trickling out. So, But... Still not a bad beer, probably going to be better in, in um, a long, longer period of time. Oh, the flavour's nice, once you get a mouthful of it, it's really quite tasty. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a nice beer. So there you go, so there's, a, there's my number two beer, and I, I'm sorry I didn't put the, uh, put the thing up, so where is that one, is that that one? No, it's a bit, uh, that's it there, that's the label for it. I hope you, <laughs> you guys can read it. Uh, I, I've taken these photos myself, except for the Morgan's one up the top right-hand corner, or your left. Um, <laughs> so they, they, they've been, been, I've just made them. That's all there is to it. So also, now, I'd like to shout out to you guys, or give you guys a link. There's a fella who's been helping me out on, um, on YouTube. Really nice fella. Uh, his name's Mike. If he's watching now, Good on you, mate. You've done a lot for me. Thank you very much for your help. Um, I would like you guys to have a look at his channel. His channel's name is Bitter Reality Brewing. He's an American. Uh, he's just started really to post videos and uh, get onto it. Um, yeah, so he's really quite intelligent and he has a really good video channel. So have a look at him. Uh, I'll pop a link down below as well for him. Uh, I've been watching these videos and they've been very informative. They're quite long, but that's fine. It's uh, entertaining to watch anyway, and, and you learn a lot. So anyway, shout out to him. Uh, Mike, you're, you've been an asset to me. You've been helping me out a lot, and it's been great. Thank you. Uh, next one is Morgan's Australian Lager. Now that one's, I think, on one of those two taps up top. It, it'll be written on the keg again. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't labelled the actual taps. That side's more than Queensland lager. Yeah, what's the other side? Oh, it might be bitter, is it? Oz. Oz lager? Oz lager. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I was going to line up all the beers along here and have them all set up and uh, pouring. And I couldn't do it. It was It's warm, actually, in here because I've got the sun coming in through the window. And I had to actually have uh, organised another fella to be here with me to taste to test all this. So I would have been bouncing off him. We would have been talking a lot more about things. But I have to just make do. Um, while Dave's pouring that, I'm just quickly check out this uh, the chat. <laughs> uh, I tried find one. I tried. Oh, uh, Ross Coon. I'm pretty sure I've spoken to him before in, in online. Uh, I tried to find Australian Gold, Morgan's Australian Gold. At the local brew shop, I used a Mangrove Jack's Gold along with Cooper's Draft. It created a bitter taste. Mm, interesting. So it's a bit um, unfortunate you can't find the Morgan's products in your, in your brew shop. Hopefully Morgan's is watching and they'll just have a look at what you've got and maybe have a look and see if they can supply you with something locally, hopefully. Uh, Ross also said he used uh, five grams of sugar pride. And five grams of Cascade Sugar Pride. What's Sugar Pride? Is that is that actually a, a hop? Anyway, yeah, yeah. I, I, still learning. Can you tell? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Dave. Look at that. 
Nice little beer there, nice head retention. That's, they're the two beers I made two months ago, maybe three, uh, two months ago, and they've been aging for a while. These ones are coming out really nice. They're actually holding a nice head. These are new glasses. Uh, they've been cleaned in, um, in uh, soap. I'm sorry to say we're getting no lacing at the moment, but I will pour one into a glass later that I have used, that I use all the time. So this one has a nice sweet smell to it. A hoppy, fruity smell. It's really nice. Oh, and it is tasty. It's got a nice sweet flavour. Um, I can taste it, uh, some hops. But I'm not sure what hops are in it. Uh, the cans aren't very descriptive. So that's another thing I, I think they should work on. Um, Morgan's uh, rate this or, or um, explain this as a crisp, bold flavour with refreshing, clean head and golden colour, which is beautifully golden colour and a perfect all-round beer, and it's 5.2% alcohol. So it's a very nice beer. It is one that I will make again, and I'll, I'll improve it. I'll just put a little bit more of my the right yeast in that I like. Um, it's meant to be a lager. It wasn't brewed like a lager, but it does taste a bit like a lager, which is quite good. That is a very nice flavoured beer. It's got a little bit of bitterness, bitterness not much. Um, Oh, very good. That is a very nice one, that one. That one I'll, I'll definitely um, make again. Beautiful beer. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, look, I watch people do this and I do enjoy it. So I figure if I'm going to do it, people are going to enjoy it. I hope they do anyway. <laughs> but, you know, what do you do? So the next one is the Morgan's Queensland Lager. Now I remember this one. That one's on the left hand side up top. Um, this one has a hoppy flavour, it's almost a fruity flavour. I'll tell you in a minute when I drink it again because I haven't had it for a little bit. But while Dave's pouring it, I'll read it out to you. Uh, Morgan's rate this or uh, talk about this as uh, specially formulated for fermentation in warmer climates, which is fair enough. You get, if, if, you, if you have a company in Queensland, that's what you're going to want to do. Thanks, Dave. That's what you're going to want to do. Um, sorry, I'm not putting the labels up either. What was the one I just did? Sheesh. Pretty, pretty rough. Morgan's Australian. Lager, which is that one, I think. Queenslander Lager, it was. Queenslander Lager. Not Australian Lager, Queenslander Lager. Hang on, what am I on here? I'm on the wrong one. That's a Queenslander Lager, this one. I'm an idiot. So we're on Queenslander Lager, this one. Nice smell, hardly any yeast smell, unless I'm getting used to it. Um, good head retention. Check the, ch check the chat. See what's going on, if anybody's having a yak. Um, yay, you have Pierre. Yay, you have Pierre, what? <laughs> now, let me see. Oh, uh, Finn Roo has haven't seen them here in New Zealand, so he hasn't seen Morgans in New Zealand, so that's good to know. Um, my brew shop always has all of the Morgans range in stock. Now, who's that? That's Ben, Ben Long. So his brew shop has it always in his store. So Ben, see if you can chuck a link somewhere or send me a link and I'll link everybody to your shop if you want. <laughs> um, ben, my brew shop, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Ross said, super pride, pride of Ringwood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, Ross can't get that hop here. I love, you know, okay, that's the, the, uh, you guys are yakking to each other. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's unorthodox what I'm doing and reading out people's chats, but you guys can read too. Um, bit cloudy, which is fine. It's got hops in it. It has a hop smell to it. It's got a fruity flavour. Sweet, fruity. Probably one of the best ones they've done. I've got out of this kit. Um, especially formulated in warm climates. Yeah, the Queensland range satisfies the biggest of thirsts be it summer or winter, which, yeah, I can see that. It's um, a wintry and a summery sort of ale or drink. Uh, made in Queensland to Queensland's taste. So it's probably like a 4X beer or something like that. I don't, I don't think so. A full strength beer often found on tap. Perfect all-rounder beer with a clean, refreshing taste and a well-balanced aroma, which is spot on. I think it's, it's very refreshing. This is something you can drink out the back playing a guitar with your mates and having a good old sing-song. And get a little bit tipsy on it. That's good. I might keep that one here for now. <laughs> so the last but not least, which I'm talking like an old man now, excuse me, is the Australian Bitter, Morgan's Australian Bitter. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's um, out of a keg that's only been sitting around for about three weeks or two and a half weeks. So hopefully it's um, got some sort of... Uh, don't, don't forget. <laughs> you didn't forget. <laughs> it's all right. That's it. Yeah. What he's doing is flushing out the line because we have to swap and change the line for each key. So he's flushing out the line from the old beer and putting a new pour in for me so I can actually... But he, he's a smart guy. He remembers everyone. So it's unreal. Thank you. Love a, love a good looking beer. Um, I force carbonated this a few days ago. And... Uh, excuse me. Smells really good. Another sort of a cloudy beer, but that could be because it's been moved. But still, quite taste smelly. Uh, <laughs> quite a um, strange day. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, well, that's different. Hmm. It's all right. It's different. It's got a bit of a um. What am I tasting? Almost like a melony flavour. What do Morgan say about it? A full flavoured brew, gentle in malt, uh, with full and ro with a full and robust hop bitterness. Ah, oh, that's what I'm. Don't know what kind of hop they used, but it's. I think I'm tasting the hop and the bitterness. It's not overly massively bitter, but definitely a hop bitter and. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. It's nice. It's almost as good as the Queensland one. Uh, the Queensland one is probably a better tasting one. This one has probably a bit of ageing to do yet, I think. But it's not bad at all. I think it's um, a good beer. So to, so to sum this up, I must say, I might have to brew this one again because I really don't like it. It's not a nice beer for me. Uh, you guys probably have done it before, but um, which is the Australian Old. Uh, oh, jeez, I forgot to do that too, didn't I? Here's, here's the uh, picture for... That's a lager. Where's the bitter? Give me the bigger bloody the bitter. That's the bitter. That's the logo for the bitter. Um, that's a nice one. So that's this one here. So yeah, like it. Scull it down. Tastes like um really. No offense to you guys. No offense to people in Queensland. Uh, VB. It's a little bit like VB. Uh, uh, BB is a bit dirtier flavoured, if, if it's a word or anything you should say, or I should say, but Victorian bitter. So it's not bad. No, nice beer. Probably a bit cleaner, to tell you the truth. And if I age it a little bit and let it settle and clear up, it's probably be even better then. So that's, uh, that's it. So that's my take on the first live stream of a, uh, hopefully a better one than the last one. You guys have been great chatting away on the, on the, um, on the, on the chat here. Uh, get to know each other hopefully and people getting to know Queensland to Queensland okay, Gavin Bucket, yeah, good on you <laughs> Oh, Dave's good um, Finn Roo said Dave's doing a good job Oh, cheers, thank you I hope you heard that Dave's doing a good job Cheers, Dave <laughs> uh, Pierre, what made you go into home brewing? Ah, good question um, Funny enough, when I was a kid I'm 51 years old. I don't know if you guys can guess that. When I was a kid, I met a person who um, wanted to try out home brewing, and he did it. And it was like a uh, like a uh, partial mash brew kit that I we did, and it was awful, absolutely awful. It tasted awful, got us drunk and sick, and uh, I was turned off. For, or I thought life. Anyway, recently on Father's Day, probably about three years ago, my daughter came home and said. I bought your Father's Day present, Dad, from Aldi. I went, what'd you buy me? And it was a um, homebrew kit by Cooper's. No, it was Mr. Beer, actually. It was a Mr. Beer brew kit. So I grabbed that brew kit, brewed up the first brew, and it came out great. It, it was a Diablo brew, and it was very nice. I thought, oh, wow, I can do this. It was about 8.5 litres or so, and it was absolutely awesome. I really loved it. So... I thought, I'm going to do this. And I said to my wife, I said, I've been interested in making videos and I would like to video myself learning. And that's what I've done. That's what this channel is about. It's me, if you notice, my growth through brewing has started with me videoing myself brewing and getting 
slightly better as I go for each video. And that's how I got into it. And now, I love the community. You guys are awesome. You're, you're just um, uh, supportive. You're, you're brilliant as a, a group, a, a, a community, really. You're just brilliant. And it's a great place to be. And uh, oh, look, it's easy to become an alcoholic, so you've got to be careful with that. So a lot of the brews I do, a lot of the time I'll just turn into a spirit and maybe make it um, make it hand sanitizer or something like that, which is, it's not legal in Australia, unfortunately. I wish it would be, but what do you do? Um, but other than that, yeah, I uh, really enjoy doing this and it's really uh, a good way of focusing yourself into a section of life and enjoying what you do. So on that, thank you for the questions. I'll probably better check the chat, see if, um, anything else. Up here, I'm gonna email you, yeah. Uh, Excuse me, Finru. Make a better beer. Oh yeah. There is a there are a couple of um there's a Robert Sealy. Uh Robert's probably watching, hopefully. I've been watching his chat uh his uh, Facebook account. He is ex very experimental with his brewing. Uh so I did a uh, uh a beer taste test one time with his um what was it? It was a what are those red things that <laughs> it's a Vegetable, it's red, beetroot. beetroot, beetroot style beer, and it was really nice. It tasted, I said it tasted like rhubarb when it was made, but um, I'm really interested in that sort of stuff anyway. I just thought I might let you know about him. Uh, he's a good bloke. If you're watching, uh, Robert, you're an inspiration, mate. It's really good. So I'm going to finish off now. I'm going to finish my live stream. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't seen me before and you are interested in brewing and you want to see someone learn how to brew, subscribe. Hit that little, little ding dong and uh, you'll get your notifications when I pop new videos up. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. So we'll catch you on the next one. All right, stick around. I'm, I'm going to play a little video at the end of this too, by the way. Uh, a bit self-indulgent, but I'll do it anyway. Catch you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you again in the next one. See you guys.